Greetings and welcome back to Infraspace. I'm Catherine of Sky and we're here in the middle of our crazy roundabout. Uh, and in the last episode, we made a whole bunch of stuff. So we got to having, oh goodness, what's happening here? People are moving out. Ah, probably because they're not getting enough home appliances. And I think that's probably because we deleted this thing and they haven't had trucks back to see them. But we should also check and see if we're getting enough. But first, let's choose some research to get. I would like to do the, hmm, concrete roads would be really useful. Improved wind turbine blades would also be better. I think we're going to get this one first because that's going to enable us to place our wind turbines closer together and get stuff done now hopefully we are gonna we need let's see let's check let's see what we need so home appliances yeah we're not making enough of these we definitely need more so let's go ahead and i think we want to maybe make another row behind here um all right so let's get a red and move that here Actually, let's get a thing over here instead. Let us build a building first and kind of get measurements. Uh, measurements are always very, very useful to have with this kind of stuff. And what I'm going to do is make these exact to ratio kind of uh, thing. So let's see. This one is here. So approximately. Gosh. Uh, er, and it's not square with the thing either so maybe like there i think ish so let's see if we make this there we want to snap this to the road oh it's not oh it's not on the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it doesn't matter <laughs> that's what we're gonna just say it doesn't matter and this is gonna be fine if we do this this way okay so what i want to do is i'm actually going to move wait is that oh no it's not right no 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 hold on hold on let's go back no no goodbye bye bye night shoot uh what i want to do is actually move this thing back a tiny bit then we'll add another road segment here and I want to add one here so that I can add this road not quite there I need to do it a little bit further down let's just uh, yeah let's just not worry too much about how close it is okay so this is kind of what we want I think that that will do and let's kind of put this in the same position we can still get the benefit of four of these guys plus We'll make a couple more electronics factories. So let's go one and two, and then we'll have another one, another home appliance maker. And again, another microchip factory. So I am going to build uh, another factory over here. And that is going to hopefully feed these guys. Uh, actually, we might need another one because of those speed bonuses that they're getting are just kind of crazy. They really are very crazy. Okay, so here we are. We have things and stuff. What are we lacking now? We're lacking copper. So let's build more copper miners. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I keep trying to right click and click this off, but it doesn't work. You have to left click on this on the uh, on the ground. And I kind of wish that they went away with the right click. That would be so nice. So let's see, copper mine, let's go. Let's put it just as close as possible so that we get the maximum amount of stuff from here. So that's two. Okay, so our little notification here went away. That seems good. Oh, whoops, we wanna do this outside the borders there. Now then, science we're lacking a tiny bit of, and then food, wow, we're actually short on food, okay. So research is completed. Let's choose another research now. Let's go concrete roads. Uh, and then we can also check those wind turbine blades because it's kind of amusing how how much better they are. Let's see. Food is here. Let's add two foodie places. There we go. 
well actually they're not foodie places technically because a place that a foodie would go would not be a survival meal place i guarantee you uh all right so let's see what do we have next we are i think we're good on production here but we were gonna look at the wind turbine thingies now remember we had some of these like at minimum distance apart here see how much smaller the circles are <laughs> these were all touching and now they are much much smaller so what i'm going to do is just move them closer together and we will kind of go from there i think this one can also move to be closer at ah, 95 percent 94 95 let's put that there i think that's good oopsies what happened there oh Ah, yes, I see, I see. We need to move this power pole out here. That's fine. And then this one can also move inward like that. Okay, and then do we care about moving these? I don't know. I think, ah, we can move one or two. There's one. And then this one can actually go over here. That might be okay. Just so long as it's far enough from the mining uh, so that we can set up miners and not be inconvenienced. These power poles are a little bit uh, interesting, however. <laughs> Delete this one. And instead, I'm going to kind of connect that one to there instead. A little bit strange looking to be kind of like all the way out. So I'm going to also do that with this one. I think we'll just delete this line there. Uh, and then we'll just put that one kind of in the middle. There we go. Anything strange out here? I think it's fine. Whatever's out here is okay. So let's just look again at our production overview. We need a little bit more of the blue science. So we'll go and make that. Oh, wow, there are, we are really lacking blue science. Like really lacking a lot of it. So let's go there. These are doing okay. They have plenty of stuff stored. Okay, so we now have things made. We have appliances, we have things and stuff and more things and more stuff. Now our goal is to get our city level to have 300 level three citizens. And right now that has been slightly difficult. Uh, these things are lacking in certain items, uh, especially the home appliances and stuff. So I'm hoping that when we get faster roads, we'll be able to fulfill these a little bit more easily. Uh, so let's see. And we also have more home appliances being made, which is great. Washer dryer sets. It's great. So I don't know why we are missing some oxygen here. That seems a little bit hmm, not ideal. Let's go ahead and make another oxygen maker. We do have plenty of employees at the current moment, so we're not lacking in that. So I'm wondering if we have some issues getting the oxygen from down here from where we're actually getting making the steel because we were using the carbon for the steel but then we also have oxygen as a byproduct from these two makers. So that might be contributing to our issues but we'll have to see. So let's see we are con uh, currently making the concrete roads and what we want to do next I think maybe Okay, so what's going on here? We still, wow, we still need iron ore here. This is, this is surprising to me. I think we just need to quicken these roads. I think maybe that's what we need. Uh, we, let's, however, I also want to make more of these iron ore, uh, machines. So let's just do that. Let's just get these all in, all up in here. Yep, there we go. So they can just mine this deposit and hopefully it's going to work well. We have tons and tons of concrete, which is kind of good. So we're pretty, pretty steady on that right now. Now we can't actually do much until we get these other things happening. It's like, help, get going. What are we doing? I kind of want to stabilize this area before I add more housing. But having said that, we can actually still add housing. Okay, we've unlocked concrete roads. Hooray. Okay, so what I want to do is definitely upgrade pretty much everything to concrete roads. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's just replace these roads. 
uh, with concrete. And as you can see, uh, the cars, they go much faster over the concrete roads. Wait, go, leave, leave me alone thing, go away. Uh, all right, we want to replace, there we go. So you can watch them. They kind of slow down before they get there, but once they go over into the concrete road, it is so fast. So let me add these things and we're just gonna kind of replace kind of everything uh, with concrete roads because they are so much faster. And we have so many materials to spare, it's not a worry for us at all. And this stuff can be replaced with, of course, the one ways. We definitely need to replace with one ways instead of two way. But look at how fast they zip around this thing. It's fantastic. Now we don't have to replace all of it, but I'm going to anyway because it is very useful to just make sure that the our cars are getting to where they need to go. What, what happened here? That's most unusual. Okay, weird. Who did that? I don't remember doing that. <laughs> it's fine though. Okay, so let's take this and keep replacing all the way out here. And that's going to allow us to have a little bit shorter time or travel, uh, travel time going to our production facilities and or housing that needs stuff. Okay, so here we are. Let me also upgrade these roads because... We want cars to travel quickly here as well. There we are. Hello. There we go. Go, go, go. And boom. Maybe. Boom. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Now our, our cars are going to travel much, much faster along here. And it does seem that we now have no issues. Let's see what we need with these. Some of these are still working on oxygen and survival food. Wow, that's pretty rough. Not good. But they should be getting some home appliances here shortly. And maybe the better thing is actually to integrate the colony nearby all of your workplaces, which we thought about that, but it's like, nah, we went for pretty. We got to go for pretty. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, we did. We did. We saw and that's how it happened. So anyway, let's go ahead and just get these roads in case there are the random tiny trucks going this away from here. I don't think there are actually. I don't see any trucks leaving this area and I don't know why. Oh no, there are a couple. Not many, but there are a couple. Okay. Well, anyway, they will get there eventually. But let's see. These are what is happening here. This is moving. They're moving out because probably they don't have enough appliances. But now our next goal is to get computers and a park set up. Now, both of those are research technologies, so we kind of have to just chill until we can get those things going. In the meanwhile, let's get solar panels. Now, solar panels are absolutely enormous. They are huge. So that's something that's going to be a bit of a space issue, I guess. Uh, here, we also need to concern ourselves with getting more citizens. I think the next break point is like uh, five or a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember exactly, but it's a lot. It's a lot. So. Okay, let's see about power. It looks like I can put the next power pole on the next side. So I'm guessing we can just skip the middle bit here and then do house, road, house, power again. So let's just set this up while we're waiting anyway. I am running the game on the fastest speed we have. <laughs> I don't really want to overbuild too much of the, uh, the, the supporting stuff because it's kind of like we don't really need to do that. Okay, so let's delete this thing for now. And we need to make it in smaller segments. So let's go here and there. Okay, let's see. Does that actually work if we try to put houses here? It's a bit tight. I'm a bit worried how tight it is. Let's see. If I move this one, can I... Err. Nice. Oh, whoops. I forgot to hold down. I, I didn't hold it down. I just 
clicked it thinking it would work when clicking, but it doesn't. Okay, so we'll continue this road to here. And we're gonna remove it again here shortly because we're going to build our houses. There we go, housing again. And then now we have the power poles again. Kind of put that, actually putting it by the road is not too bad. It kind of aligns everything, so that's good. Now then, so this is kind of what we want. And let me go ahead and just place the last road here. Wait, but this one, no, this one was actually that close. And we're going to delete this road again. Actually, we don't have to delete the road, do we? Oh, let's see. I think all you need to do is move the end of it. Yes. Yes, you can move the end instead of deleting. So if I did this, does that work? Yeah, it looks like it works. Okay, so let's move this house and face it the correct direction that I want it to go. And here we go. And we have more housing. Hooray. All right. And all we need to do is get power poles here. And yeah, keep it going. I think actually that will be sufficient there. But we'll connect that one up so that those last houses get some power. This is pretty great. Actually great. So let's see. Go here. And that's not quite enough. Darn it. Okay, let's go up. And I think what I want to do is let's delete these last segments and get this one cross. Let's see, does this work here? Maybe. It seems to look correct. So let's see, third. Oh, I don't know what the, the cross there is on that one. Nope, that's wrong. But maybe we can move it over a tiny bit here. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. Hooray! Okay, we got it. That is actually really good. Very, very good. So let's get in some of our houses because all of these houses now have to improve themselves as well. So there's a lot of like, it kind of has this trickle back effect of like having, yeah, uh, as soon as you start a new thing, it's like, Oh, gee, now we have to get everybody oxygen again. <laughs> you know, it's such a, well, not only that, but they do use up these products over time. So, you know, you may provide them oxygen, but then they use it up. And so they need more and more. I mean, they breathe for goodness sake. What are they doing? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's apparently what they do is they breathe and they use it up. They eat the food. I don't know how that even happens, but it does. And it's a bit scary, but we have to provide for those eventualities. Okay, so here we have this, hooray, and good. So now, I think we definitely need more oxygen. It looks like we're quite short on things. Hooray, we unlock the panels. We're not there yet. We, did, we I think our houses are devolving right now because of the lack of stuff. We need oxygen and food. So let's build some more oxygen makers. I'm going to pause because I don't want any of our other buildings to devolve. So let's take this and move a node or delete. I think we delete this because that those two nodes are very far apart there. So let's take this thingy road and then go that way and then you go that way and maybe we take this one this, this way as well. Okay, that's good. And that way we can add more food and more oxygen. I don't know what the uh, the general plan is going to be for here, but we can kind of put down some houses. Actually, let's get the oxygen first and then we'll organize the houses. Let's see. Oxygen. Hooray. Put those down and then food places. One here and let's go there. Now we do have a gap, but if we have um, crosses or three ways at too short of an interval, we get this very annoying message. Your road is too short. So roads have to be a minimum distance uh, long. So that's kind of what we're shooting for there. 
But anyway, those will go and work. We do have plenty of employees. That's very important to keep track of. But uh, since we have them, we're, you know, not worried at all. Now let's, what I want to do here is I'm going to move this node. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Eh, I wish for an undo button. Help. All right, I'm just going to delete that instead. Easier, I think. All right, let's go here and sideways and this can connect there. Uh-huh. Can I move this one down? There we go. Uh, help. No. Why? Can I do this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this one, that's a weird like length that it wouldn't let me do like I don't know, that's very strange. Okay, so this is just fine. We have figured out how to get to these places. Hopefully these amount, this amount of oxygenators will give us the amount we need. We're making almost twice what we need. So, well, actually twice, definitely twice what we need. Uh, we are making a ton of food as well. We have insufficient power that might, uh, inhibit our, uh, processes slightly. If not more than slightly, let's put this one here. And we can also start building our solar panels, I think. Let's see. Did we get them? Yeah, these guys are enormous. As you can see, they are quite large. We could do this, like putting them on the side of the mountain and be a tiny bit ridiculous. Could be fun, though. Could be fun. So we'll get a couple of these solar panels. We'll have like the reflective wall here of stuff. I'm finding this. I don't know why I'm finding this amusing. I probably shouldn't. But anyway, it is uh, it is amusing at the moment. Okay, so reflective wall of solar panels. We'll just go ahead and connect all of those together. Uh, there we go. Okay, and good. And we'll just redundantly connect that one there. And this one... Ah, I need to, I want to delete this line. I wish I could delete. Can I do that? And now clicking them together doesn't actually work. Okay, but I can delete this one and replace it. Uh, here. Okay, there we go. And that's fine. Okay, very nice. So we have our wild wall of solar panels. That seems fun. And these produce a lot of energy. They are 50 megawatts versus the 20 of the wind mines. So now we are at way, way over power. And the cool thing is they don't require any employees. So we can kind of have as much as we want, really. All right. So where are we on city level? Oh, gosh, we're at 156%. But we should be rapidly evolving this stuff. Okay, a lot of houses are... They're moving in. They are evolving sometimes. Okay, people are moving in. Oh, that's another thing we need. We actually need people from the spaceport in order to fill all of these homes. So we're waiting for a landing. Okay, so immigration rate is low. That's not good. Upgrade your habitats to make your city more attractive to newcomers. We really need to just get services to these people. Uh, citizens because all of these can pile into the same category and then we'll have uh, 300 I think uh, a little bit more than 300 as it happens but it's good we just need to keep on having our deliveries and things will work but it is important to make sure that you have these uh, machines nearby and I'm wondering if maybe this is not the best idea to have these here Maybe I should move them up or just rely on carbon from up here land. Because it feels kind of like, I don't know what it feels like. It's, I don't know. I don't know exactly how the delivery systems work and how things are organized. As in, like, if the, if a house is wanting oxygen, for example, does it so if if this one is on route does it not allow one of these to also provide oxygen does that count as part of the queue i don't know this um and maybe that's the thing that we need to kind of like figure out Let's see people are moving in people are moving in good good all the things are happening 
Okay, these people need appliances. How are we doing on appliances? I think we're actually okay on them. We have... Let's see. Yeah, enough. We have enough. We could always build more. You know what? Let's build more. I kind of want to build more. I feel like this is an opportunity to have more built. So maybe I'll stick one over here and build. For every one of these, we want to build two electronics factories. There we go. Or more, probably. Especially if uh, the ratio is... Uh, if we're if they have a huge bonus, it's really important. Okay, so how are we doing on these uh, microchips? We're actually doing really good. And I wonder if this takes into effect the speed bonuses on stuff. Let's see. We have our iron ore being made as well. This is... I'm really enjoying this roundabout. Another thing, though, that can be done is to have flyovers, as in, like have a bridge that just takes some iron ore and just goes straight over. You know what? Let's do that just for fun. I want to create a situation like that. Let's go this away and then go up one level. Doesn't need to be higher than one. And it's good to be kind of at the minimum level uh, because when you do that, it allows you to uh, have stuff going even higher than that over it. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be a direct route taking this iron ore into this area. And I don't know if it's going to work as I expect. Let's see if this iron ore truck... Okay, it's not going in the roundabout. So that's a good thing. I'm hoping that any of the traffic that's going through is going to go through. Let's see if any of these turn right. No, none of them are turning right so far. So that's a good sign. I'm quite happy about that. Okay, we're city level three. Hooray. You've unlocked new technologies to research. So that's, I guess that's one of the things that is kind of, um, I don't know, makes me think that, I don't know, it's a little bit frustrating to have to wait for stuff like that. Because uh, we couldn't really do much. We had no tech. I guess we could just improve like or add more stuff that we already have, which we did. We added mountains of housing. Um, but anyway, so the next thing we need is going to be large buildings so we can get the park. So we make our people a little bit happier and deliver parks to them. We have aluminum mining, which leads to computers. We then have motors, which gives us large mines, which is kind of exciting. Uh, those that speed up our extraction rate. And then we have four lane roads, which arguably might be the better option here. But let's see. We have probably a lot of tech now one thing that i kind of wish was more of a thing is that i wish we had storage for stuff like science because currently i believe the only storage we have is within these buildings we don't have any other way to store stuff the only storage unit that i have seen is this um where is it I is looking for it. Help. Where? Uh, uh, there it is. Construction material storage. Yeah. So yeah, that's a bit of a like, huh? Why? Where? How? Help. Anyway, these guys, outgoing storage. Full. Why is outgoing storage full? Is that all? Is that blue science only? Oh, it is. Wow. It's only blue science. Well, oh, okay. Uh, we could actually do one of the other sciences. I do feel like maybe having another blue science factory is a good idea. So let's just put another one down. Or maybe two. Let's add two. Eh, let's just add two. And effectively, this gives us more storage for the future, really. So we'll do that. Uh, and check our levels again. I feel like we always need to check levels. Uh, here we need sulfur. What are, what, we need, what are we needing sulfur for? What did we just add? actually confused about this why why that's a thing okay lots of iron going that way this is kind of an interesting little thing it's kind of like messed up the the squareness of things but it is actually more efficient because we're taking all of these cars off the road 
Uh, they don't have to participate in this intersection and it enables these guys to get on their way. So it is actually better. All right, so let's see, we need more sulfur. I just can't think of whatever we've added that needed sulfur. Is it, do we actually need sulfur for these guys? For the science? No, no we don't. This does though, ooh, I didn't realize that. I forgot they use sulfur for that. Okay, cool. Very nice, very, very nice. We will add sulfur mines, a couple of them. Okay, let's not snap to the road, please. And I would like to actually move this. What is it to turn? Is it eh, Q and E? There we go, Q and E. Okay. Kind of want to add that there. Okay, there we are. And no road there. So I think what I'm going to do here is just add a road on the side like this. And that should enable us to get all of these miners mines going in the right direction. Okay, we now have a massive population and not very many jobs, but everything seems to be going swimmingly. I do like this uh, production overview. It's so, so useful. All right. What are we researching again? We are, we're, oh yeah, parks. Yeah, parks are cool. Parks are actually kind of cool. And what I think I might do is put them, maybe I'll put them in the center. I think that might be a good idea. Let's put in a concrete road and we're going to, no, no curves, but just snap. Have that go all the way up there and do the same. And just kind of have a center section here where we can put the parks because yes, they deliver parks to you. It's exciting. All right, and here we go. Now, as these houses level up, you'll notice that the population increases. So the basic habitat can only hold eight people. Then the next level holds 10 and these guys hold 12. So you'll notice your needs increasing even if you don't add houses just because they upgrade themselves in this way. Okay, so this research lab, I wonder if it's good to have, I guess I could put a second lab in here. What I'm thinking is maybe I I might have a a one-way street situation going on with stuff. I'm not sure if that would be beneficial though in this instance. Nah, I think it's better to have two-way. Probably better to have two-way. Okay. Unless I did something like having I should have maybe a lab I could put the labs closer to the science places. That is another option that we could do. Kind of wonder about how that functions, if it works well or not. In uh, in one of my test playthroughs, I had like the blue science around one lab and then the green science around another lab. And they were kind of on this U-shaped thing. So the cars were always on the opposite side of the road. And I think that worked actually really well. Uh, but we'll, it, it'll be fine. We'll try to keep on top of the science so we don't have a bunch of buildup because I think that will help us with stuff. Okay, so let's see. We are looking at that many appliances. I don't know if that's enough. We probably also need more oxygen because we're quite short now. I think it's all the people moving in. Too much breathing. We have mouth breathers. We have air breathers going on. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let's put this one here, sure, there, and there, and more there. Food is, yeah, just barely keeping up. Yep, too many people, too many. Okay, what are we doing? We are getting the parks right now. So what is what are we lacking here? We have, we just need blue science, I think. And it is slow. We don't seem to have any efficiency bonus, even though they're next to other labs. It doesn't seem to grant them anything. So putting this here also doesn't seem to work. Not that. I'm just kind of like checking other buildings and seeing, hey, would that work as a, a bonus thing? Wait, what about, oh, we have our park building. Uh, let's go ahead and choose the next item before we do the other things. I want to get the f uh, four lane roads, maybe. I don't know. 
Power substations could be fun. I think we want to get computers so that we can get, oh wow, that's more blue science. <laughs> you know what? Let's have a rest and do four lane roads. Even though we actually need more blue science for that because the green science requires blue science. But here's, here's what happens when you don't use science for a while. You have this huge, huge traffic buildup along these roads. So what I'm thinking is maybe, yeah, I think I'm going to do the other thing. I think I'm going to do a different way of stuff. Yeah, yeah, different way is always good. So let's move one of these over here. That. And then I think I need to move this because because road because we need a road 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 well, this is going to be a bit difficult because yeah Let's see hopefully this is going to work i don't know if it will work though so let's see let's try and move this one over there and this one over there. Yeah, it's 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 a bit messy, but that's because we didn't have parallel roads to begin with. So what we can do actually is move this thing, delete that part and move the end of this road to like there. And then we can delete this part of this and then take a road. And this is going to be at the correct angle and it should match the other part, but I don't know if it does actually. I don't know if it does. Yeah, I th maybe it does. Maybe it does. It's just like the angle of stuff makes it look a little bit funky. But I think that should work. So here, let's try this and see if this works for us. We need to get... Oopsies. Eh, whoops. Let's connect this road here. That is important. Then we move these guys over here. There we go. So they are fed from the road. And then we have our big labs out here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I think that should work a little bit better actually. Because they're always going to be coming on the opposite sides of the road. And they'll go back. Well, actually, do they go back? I don't think they go back, actually. But I'm hoping that works a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see how it works. All right, we have on the... Oh, wait, maybe these... They don't need to go to the same building. Have I been mistaken? Oh, it could be. It could be. Could be that we don't actually need that. All right, let's go and get... Hmm. Let's get aluminum mining or aluminium, depending on your proclivities. And we just got roads, so let's look at that. So now we have these big concrete roads. We also have two lane one way roads. So what I'm thinking is let's upgrade some of these areas to do stuff. And now we don't necessarily need this here. We could change and make this a cloverleaf intersection. We could make a flyover. We could do many things, actually. Whoa, whoa, what happened? Help. Okay, all right. No panicking, don't panic. The cool thing is, is when you're doing this, it doesn't seem to eat buildings most of the time anyway. It's, I think it's the same shape or close enough anyway. Okay. And I think we might leave that at that. I don't think we're seeing a lot of traffic here or very much anyway. I think we're doing okay. Actually, this is seeing a bit. Oh, 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 what's happening? Oh, road segment too short. No, help. Okay, fine. We'll make it smaller then. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of traffic from here taking the carbon down to other places that need it. Okay, so the other thing I could do 
is maybe make a cross street so that the cars don't have to go all the way to the main road to drop off the blue science here. And I think that's a good idea. I think we should do that. Like this. And that will enable us to, yeah, cross over a little bit better and not have to use this bottom road. I think that should work pretty well. We could also put a road here connecting these two, like here, so that there's no temptation whatsoever to use this main road. Okay, let's delete this part because that's too short of a road segment. Okay, and connect that and that. All right, better. All right, we're now lacking more blue science. So let's just keep on making blue science. Might as well. Let's get those all lined up. Good. All right, so what are we looking at right now? We are looking at this. Um, I think this thing, if we look at these ratios here, we are using 0.25 blue science, but that does not account for when we need both sciences. So if half goes into green or more than half, I guess, because we need three per each green. So only a quarter goes into green. We actually need more blue science, much more blue science. Um, yeah. So let's see. We also have a shortage now of appliances. Let's make those before things get bad or worse or something. Um, another thing we can do is... I think this is okay. Let's see if what if we make this a double lane, if that works better or not. Let's check this. We I like this roundabout. I think it's quite cool. It's, you probably think it's insane, but I like it. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. It's exciting. Okay, let's make more of these guys. And we'll add our circuits. One, two, and one, two, and add more of these. Very good. Okay. All right, fun. We also probably want to add a connecting road here shortly as well. Okay, so that is, we're short now on copper. I do love this thingy. This is so good. It's so convenient and useful. Wow, I, I'm almost like wishing Factorio had this. Uh, as, as a, like a default thing, though, it would be kind of difficult because a lot of times in Factorio, you kind of build modular designs, uh, or at least some, some designs like that. But I think it would be, it still would be amazingly useful just to have like this on screen all the time. I think it's great. It's so cool. Okay. We now have access to aluminum or aluminum, depending on your proclivities. Okay. Let's add our copper mines out here. Okay. Okay, I think let, that should be enough. I'm just like, yeah, let's just spam them all over the place. Hooray! <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so that's getting there. I don't think... Do we actually have any copper going up this way? Question mark. I don't think so. No. So essentially, we could just have a flyover to meet these... Uh, buildings here. So let's see. Let's see what's going on over here. I kind of wish they changed lanes a little bit differently, maybe. They are driving a little bit wildly, aren't they? <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, um, let's see. What are we doing next? We need, because we have tons and tons of material. I think we're actually really good with that. Uh, yeah, science. So we needed to make computers. That is our next idea that we need to explore because people need them. However, oh, wait, why are people moving out? No, we need appliances. We need also parks. We haven't built our park yet. 
oh look at this it fits exactly in this area so let's build a park so we are only generating a quarter of a park and we need 6.62 go ahead and add several of these parks uh we'll add them just here we'll add four of them for now and that's 0.75 parks now what happens is the park generates um a park vehicle which we can assume may be filled with parky things like i don't know plants and and good stuff this is fun too look at this you can actually decide where these things wait how do you how do you get them back how do you get them back? hello help no uh oh oh you drag them across well, this is quite cool. I like this. Okay, so you're dr basically dragging and you can uh, tell which things are allowed to go which direction. So that goes this way, that way, and also that way. So you can basically say, hey, no right turns here or no, no left turns here. I think that's a really cool feature. I like this a lot. That's really neat. Fun. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, we now have, we found out how to add them back. <laughs> That's even better. Uh, all right. We want to make computers. So for computers, we need what? We need microchips. We also need um, computer chips and we need aluminum or aluminum, depending on your proclivities. Uh, where do we get those blue chips? I'm wondering oh they're probably an intermediate product here we go microchip factory so here as you can see we need so many green chips we are probably going to be drowning in green chips if we possibly can and what is going on here is that we need to um yeah we need to have many many green chip factories looks like we need sand and the green chips for the microchip factory. Wait, are we really making computers? Seriously? Oh yeah, we get microchips and computers with this. Okay, cool. I guess that's what we're doing. So we're going to do that. And I'm wondering if we should build it here. We do have more copper over here. We have more iron over here. So maybe we build a massive uh, microchip factory as in all of the green little guys out here. And just kind of have, uh, maybe we do one-way roads or something. I guess, um, trucks, do they go back and forth? I don't think so. I don't think trucks actually go back and forth. I think that they, um, let's go there. Yeah, that should be fine. I think it's just one way. So I'm wondering if we could do like a one-way thing for uh travel with stuff as in if we have the computer chips going out they go out and they the there's no possibility of going in another direction i don't know if that's gonna work we'll see let's see let's get some stuff oh, wow we have so many things to build right now I think let's go ahead and just get the large mines going on. We need the motors first. But I think that it's actually time to finish this episode because we're kind of out of time. So anyway, I'm I'm kind of excited about this project. We have so much going on. It's uh, there's a lot lot to do here for sure. So anyway, let's go and just connect this up before we leave. Let's unsnap. Let's snap. There we go. Hi. Do not help. Okay, there we go. Anyway, uh, parks need to be delivered. <laughs> and yeah, they need computers. And computers are so complicated. But I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I'm gonna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think about maybe a way that we can have some good traffic management here. Uh, because we also need feeder roads that go up into this atmosphere and feed our homes and stuff too. This is so cool. Watching like all of these trucks go up this crazy hillside. Wow, that's fun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have to say thank you so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.